Do you want to continue with your cross examination? Yes, my lord. I have a number of questions to put to me. <laughs> not the not other. Yes. You are continuing. I'm continuing. There's no point. Maybe you, can, maybe you could also pass it on to the court so we can all understand what you're saying. We look forward to it. My Lord, I've seen it. It's there. It's easy. They have said it's they small. Are they are visible but they very small. They are visible. They do not necessarily need to be big. But, but in, in this case you had... It is there. In this case you had said that the, the blasting effect removed the ring of attrition. Is the ring of abrasion that small? There is no ring of abrasion to talk about, my lord, in this context. You, the, so you can confirm that on the left there is a hole and there is no ring of abrasion. My lord, that's what I said. Much obliged. Now, Doctor, I want you now to look at Exhibit P5F, if we can have it. So we have just finished the wound on the left. Right. I want you to look at Exhibit P5F. Let's proceed, let's proceed. So we just can always be sure we are. So doctor, on, on the, just put it down, I'm, let me ask a few questions leading up to it. On the wound on the left, it was your evidence that the explosion removed the abrasion ring, correct? The explosive effect. Right. And that the effect of the fire and the explosion was very tiny and microscopic. That you couldn't see the tears clearly. That's not right. Let's not go back. Much obliged. Let us now look at this particular. That shows this wound. Confirm that's the wound on the right. <laughs> Doctor, would I be fair to say that I can clearly see a star shape? Would I be right to say that I can clearly see lacerations? Yes. And laceration. What about lacerations? Tears are lacerations. Can I clearly see them in that picture? I can clearly see the tears, lacerations. So it is fair to conclude that the wound on the right has lacerations and tears. And the wound on the left has microscopic ones. My lord, lacerations are the same as tears. Much obliged. We have gotten the point. Okay. Maybe you can give it back. Maybe the court can also see what we are saying. Clear. What is not concluded? If you bring me this to you, you refer to the recording. I can refer you to it when I need it. Much of life, my lord, much of life. Uh huh. So, you are going to tell me you will do it. My lord, I have just a few more questions. There are so many other cases, not only this one. Not only this one. Yeah, and the, which are even now under than this one. We are waiting to be some. Much of life, my lord. A few more questions, doctor. Doctor, are you aware of the term bias? Are you aware? I 
I'm a wife. Would I be fair to say that it is possible for an expert to be biased? My Lord, he rephrases the question. Would I be correct to say that it is possible for an expert to be biased? He will not be correct. So it is impossible for experts to be biased. Are you aware, Doctor, that some of the effects of bias? No. Would, would it be fair to say that a biased person refuses to see evidence that confronts him directly? Rephrase that question. That a biased person's mind is already made up irrespective of the evidence. That, that's not right. What would you say about the mind of a biased person? I'm a professional. I took a hypocritic oath to serve humanity. Doctor, I have not yet said you are biased. I have asked you if a biased person refuses to see glaring evidence that is placed before him. That will not be a biased person. What will that person be? I don't know. If a person refuses to see evidence that is clearly placed before him? I don't know. If a person says that your ear is the face, would you call that person biased? You will not call him biased. He's just, what, what would you call him? I don't know, but he's not a biased person. The opposite of that, if you can find the one. Okay. If a person sees black and calls it maroon, would you call that person biased? If it is the fact is maroon, if the fact is that it's black. If it's the fact it is maroon color, he's not biased. And if it is black, he's biased. Okay, I think we've got your answer. Doctor. You are also aware of the term cognitive bias. This is when someone gives you information and it biases you before you begin on the work. Did that happen in this case? No. Doctor, it was your evidence that the body that the post-mortem was conducted in the presence of the investigating officer, correct? Correct. And the investigating officer, just for the record, you said was Detective Sergeant David Betis. Correct? That's what I recall. So the answer is yes? Yes. Doctor, I want to suggest to you that Detective Sergeant Betese told you that the entry wound was on the right. That's not right. He did not. I want to suggest to you that even before the body was delivered at the mortuary, Detective Sergeant Betese and his boss, Senior Commissioner of Police, Bob Kagarura, had already formed the view that the entry was on the right and they communicated it to you. Is that correct? I don't know about that, oh. my lord. On the left, rather. Now, Doctor, Excuse me. in his police statement, I just want to read it for you. Detective Sergeant David Betes said that he entered the room and in examining and looking at the body, the wounds had been covered with a bandage. On removing the bandage, the wounds were one on the left, slightly above the ear entry point, and the exit was to the right ear. This suggested ruling out suicide. My, my lord, which room? <coughs> 
I was working at Lagos. The bedroom? Was the, the doctor examined in the bedroom? Yeah. Um, uh, that's, 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 to the yeah. question. Okay. If he's giving a background, because we yeah, are. Yeah. We are. Because we knew when he got to the wedding. The police officers are getting to the wedding. That's all getting to the body of the man child. Please, will you continue? Well, my Lord, I think it's important that we that we really get this clear. I think my learned friends continuous interruptions. My Lord, I pray that we be allowed to have the cross-examination. Yeah, cross the strategy of interrupting us must be discouraged. Okay, you can when the weakness is answered. So this is what he says in his statement. Are you saying he had this view and did not share it with you? That was his statement. After you finished writing your report, you shared it with the detective, with the I.O. Mm. Correct? Is that correct? After you finished writing your report, you shared it with the investigating officer. When the report was complete, the team of investigating officers signed for the report in our in our books. That is on the second of November, post to Is that it so? Yes. Okay, then sign. my lord, it was not the very day, but I cannot remember the day when the I cannot exactly remember the date when the report was taken. But at least not on the second of November because the second of November twenty twenty three is when we did the examination. And I'm very sure that was not the date we gave up the report, my lord. So can you look at your report? Do you have a copy of your report? Which is exhibit P4. Did you write the report on that day? Was that correct or wrong? No, let him answer. Was it written on the 2nd of November? No, we are continuing. Wait, is, did you write this report on the 2nd of November? I wrote the report on the 2nd of November and completed it on the 2nd of November. Okay. Now, do you see on your report page one where it says date? Right? Below the word date, what word is there? Can you confirm it is for date two? Bugolomi police station. Bugolomi police officer. Police officer, right? And there's a stamp there. Right? What date? The 2nd of November, 2023. So doctor, did you forward this report on the 2nd of November, 2023? Or is that not true? My lord, is, that's not the date the report was sent out. It's our practice. The date just, just, just stop there. That is not the, the recording. Uh, that is not the date the report was sent out. So that stamp is backdated. It's not backdated. It's two. The, the postmortem was done on the second, completed on the second, and stamped on the second. You stamp the date of the date when you did the PM. That is our normal practice. Doctor. Look back at page one of the PM. Can you confirm that your signature is above the line of medical officer? It is above the line of pathologist. Look at your report. Right? This, maybe let's, let's have a look at P4. Have you seen that crossing there? Can you have a look at P4? I don't know if we have disclosed the same things. Can we see that exhibit? Okay, so, medical officer, your signature is above medical officer, you're saying it's crossed out and the word pathologist is there, correct? Right. And then below that is date. <coughs> is date forwarded to Bugolomi police officer, correct? Right on the left hand side corner, not directly below the, the name. Okay. Now, so that date is 2nd November, but you said it wasn't forwarded on that day. Doctor, you also said that a team, on top of forwarding it to Golovi police, a team of police officers picked it 
from you. So second not, a, not a team. Single person picked the report from the team at the merchant. So who picked the report? My lord, I do not remember the names exactly, but some name like Mwanda. So your report was your report was forwarded to Bugolodi and picked by someone called Mwanda as well. My lord, I recall the name like that. From where? From him. Where was it picked from? It was picked from the city mortuary through the police liaison officer. My lord, we have brought. Yeah. Doctor, after you wrote your report, I want to suggest to you that you then leaked it to unauthorized persons. Is that correct? That is not correct, my lord. Doctor, are you aware that your report was the basis of an application for an inquest in the High Court? My lord, I'm not aware. You're not aware that your report was the basis of it? My lord, I'm not aware. Are you aware that you were listed as a witness on that application? My lord, I'm not aware. I've not seen that uh, document. Do you know Mr. Barnabas Taremwa and Brigadier General Freddy Carrara? My lord, I don't know those persons by those names. Do you have any idea of how they could have gotten access to your report? No. Brigadier General Freddy Carrara and Mr. Barnabas Karema. My lord, I do not have an idea. General Freddy Carrara. Carrara. K A R A R A. Andy? And Mr. Barnabas Karema. Both of whom, my lord, are on record in this court represented by Mr. Ruta. Uh -huh. So, what were you saying about that? I do not know. Do you have any idea? He doesn't know them. Does he have any idea how they got access to his report? My lord, I'm sorry. You sit down. Please uh, sit down. Much of life. You are not the one who is going to make the question. No, they know what they want to know. My lord, it's not about the question. Much of life. You live through. My lord, I'm raising a concern from Mr. Futana. He has no audience to speak. No. But you can refer to him. You can refer to him. No, no, we have nobody yet. So, no, no, no. He, he knows, he knows the rules. He does. No, the point is. But when my devil is the first one, he should be. Senior Gallery, this is false. My daughter, you see, all these people who are, who are being in the mansion are involved in this case. They are not being accused. That there is a picture of his report with his signature on it in Chimp Reports. My lord. It's so faint that uh, I can connect myself to this. I only say yes. that I cannot see many people. Okay, it is so faint. <laughs> <laughs> that I, you cannot confirm that. My Lord, I the report. I would like to tender it in so that the court can make its own conclusion as to the faintness as a, as a defense ID. My Lord, from the expression of the title of that document, it is a chimpanzee report. It is a newspaper report. Uh -huh. The witness has not even identified anything concerning it to that report. The other questions put to the witness as to whether he knows how the, the his report would have entered. He said he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. So he has no basis whatsoever even to identify. So even if we are pretending it in court for identification, mm -hmm. what is he identifying even for that document? So. The rules governing admissibility or even identification of documents are clear in the evidence act. And it is wrong for our colleagues to be flying documents to the court report. And we can't sit down as officers of court to accept this report. It is an injustice and it is not fair. Okay. So it is our, our, our prayer report. that Which that, not that document does not go on the court report and is struck off. This is a report to which he made. It is even, even a photocopy as it appears. It was not identified by the original. It was not even identified by 
identified by the church. In fact, the witnesses, you have no idea what the identity is about. Yes, my, my lord. So of course my learned friend is not referencing any section in the Evidence Act in support of her objection. Um, I think the Evidence Act has sections. Be able to say. Okay. But, but my lord, the, the bottom line though is that that document has been shown to the witness. The witness has said it is too faint. And that not one word on it can be read by him. We are tendering it in as a defense ID. We shall bring the author to exhibit it. And the purpose of that is the credibility of the witness. Whether it is faint or the witness is evasive. And also, that evasion, whether his evasive answer can be used to infer that in fact he is the source of the leak. Shall I call the author? Uh -huh. Shall I call the author to exhibit it? And then, and then sh it shall be used simply to, to impeach the credibility of this witness. Because his claim and on looking at it is that it is too faint. My Lord, I think that is an issue that the court should be allowed to examine and see if it is faint or if we have a case of willful blindness. This would be true. My Lord, I, I just seen you, I just passed it. It was a call of this. It was a call of this. Okay. 1.5 times 0.5 centimeters, correct? Correct. I want you to look at I want you to look at exhibit P5G. Do P P5G. Uh -huh. uh, that is <coughs> that is exactly that wound, correct? Right. And you've measured. Right. Can you just show the coach how you measure? Started. No, I'm saying the measurement is done almost like a cross from one end to the other and from one end to the other. That's not right. How is it done? I was supposed to, I misunderstood you, my apologies. Why do I don't you let him <coughs> describe according to his work profession? Yes. I think he, what is that shape? Oh, if that is not <coughs> this, this is a star plate. So, in there. Yes. That, that's the shape of a star? Yes. In the medical not the yeah, you answer. Yes. So, so just hold on. My lord, I just want to give that answer. It is not the shape of a star in normal understanding. It is the shape of a star in medical understanding. Is that what you say? The, the, the medical jargons derive they are derived from the common language. So is that the shape of a star? Yes, my lord. This is the shape of a star. Okay, another one. And how did you measure it? My lord, I gave the answer. Yeah, we want to understand it. As you said, Peter. Is it so? Yes. yes. Did you show us the rule and measure it? Yes. And that's what we are using. Okay. Because it says the horizontal length, that is the biggest length, which is 1.5 centimeters. And then vertically, vertically, 
is 1.5. Not 1.5. They are not just. And the magical one is 0 0.5. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and doctor, when you look at the picture, that's exhibit P5G, the, the, the tape that's there is a ruler showing the 1.5 centimeters. Am I correct? Yes. No, no, no. When I look at this exhibit, the, the, the white tape that's there is a ruler showing the 1.5 centimeters, correct? Right. Okay. Now I want you to look, if you can just keep it, to look at exhibit now P5F from P5F. Just show it to court, show it to us, so we see we are holding the same thing. So what? P5F. 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 They are both of the right ear. Show us, show us, so we see we are holding the same thing. In P5G. Just show us both pictures. Yes, the one in the left ear. That's the right ear, then show us the one in the left ear. The one you just looked at. Yes, that one, and then the next one. Show them together. Side by side. It is your evidence that that's the same shape. The same set, yes. Okay. That is not. Star set. What are those? 5G and F are exactly the same shape. Okay. Now, go to, you had, the other one you had was P5D, correct? Please, 5 data. Yes. P5D? Yes. I'm giving you, not for the third bit. Not for telling you. Much obliged, my lord. Now, you have testified, if, if so, if we could go back to P5, P5F, P5F, sorry. F, not, not D, P5F. P5F, F. P5F, P5D. No, no, F, F. You have testified to this court that there are lacerations there. Correct? My lord. You have testified that there are lacerations there. It's yes or Tears no? Tears lacerations. Yes. Tear lacerations. They mean the same thing. Yeah, okay. lacerations. So I want to identify... That is before you put it. Yes. I want to identify two things in that picture. P5F. I want to identify... I want you to tell us how many tears are there. Yes. Now, you, you, you said... In your report, that there was a starlet shaped gunshot exit wound, size 5 times 3 centimeters, through the right external auditory meters. And you told my lord yesterday that that is a hole in the ear. Am I right? <coughs> That's right. Can you state it again? He says in his you, report. You state what you Yes, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a hole, it's a, a passage from the external ear. Yes. Uh -huh. So what happened to it? There was a bullet wound. There, there was uh, an exit wound in that area. So the exit wound you identified? Can you describe it technically? There was an exit wound where? In the ear hole. In the ear hole. The auditory meatus. That's the term I used. Auditory meatus, which you told the ear hole. This ear hole. So the spelling of meatus. M-E-A-T-U-S -E In the bracket, that is the ear The ear hole I stated in my report There was an exit wound Through the ear hole yeah, The ear hole No, no, there was a satellite shaped gunshot exit wound Size 5 times Now you are continuing, maybe Through, through, repeat that word Through, so through the ear hole Much obliged, you're right Now Show us how you measure the wound through the ear. Just show us a picture of P5D. Show us the picture. Confirm that the ruler is showing the five centimeters. 
my lord, I said there was an exit wound through the hole. Okay? No, doctor, you said there was an exit wound through the hole, which is a size 5 times 3 centimeters. Yes. You see, this is up to 5. This is the largest. Doctor, that's the whole ear. You are measuring the ear. What we know is he has a 5 centimeter ear. To me, it's not. I was not measuring the ear. You can see the extent, the extent of the tears is where the ruler is. And that's the whole ear. Tear is 5 by what? I was not measuring the ear. 5 by 3. Yes. Here, the ruler here. You can see the extent of the tears. Okay. Go to B5F. B5F. F. 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 I need to look at both of them together. Why is measuring and where is not? Keep, keep them. No, it's okay. Just show both. Which one is F? F? Show us, show us both. And what? And what? And the one you've just been holding, which is P5D. The measurement, that one. Now, doctor, if I look at P5F, I can clearly see a hole through the ear hole. Correct? Just look at it. Come again with that? If I look at P5F, I can very clearly see a hole through the ear hole. Uh -huh. the, the, the ear hole is a hole. Yes. Now you are seeing a hole through the hole. Yes. Which hole is that? Let me show it to you. It's a wrong impression. Not a show. No. So you say what is saying is not true. Can you that if there is any deliberate falsehood in your report, it would cast serious doubt on the entire report. My Lord, that will not happen. Because I did. Yeah, yeah. So you are saying there are no there are no for deliberate falsehoods. Yeah, there are no falsehoods. There are no falsehoods. Actually, saying no falsehoods. Actually, no falsehoods. And if I find one, it's not the one who says it. Much obliged. <laughs> Doctor, in his evidence to this court, prosecution witness number three, Timothy Nyangweso say that he came to the mortuary and that he was with Naomi Nyangweso. Do you know those two people? Uh, my Lord, I do not know them, but in the course of the work, I interacted with so many people. And uh, just to refer to what is their problem. You don't know, it's Timothy. Timothy Nyangweso. And now, and now, doesn't know them. Recording in progress. They said they arrived at the mortuary. Timothy says he arrived at the mortuary the moment he came in. I want to suggest to you that those are the people who identified the body to you. If I said that, would I be right? My, my Lord, that will not be right. Identification is Thank a you. process. Thank you. It is not, it's not a one time said. event. You testified in your evidence in chief that prior to the commencement of the post mortem, there was identification of the body. Correct? My, my lord, identification starts from the scene. Doctor. To in your evidence yes. in chief, when you were being led, you said, when they asked you for the process, <coughs> that after you received police form 48A, yes. you then went, got the team, you told us the team, the body was identified and the post-mortem commenced. That's what you said. Why are you telling the truth? We confirmed the identification because the 
the request came with the name of an identifier. So ours was to confirm. Doctor, look at your report. You said it is a new report and you said it in, ident in evidence in chief. You said body identified by Kwanzi Martha Katanga, daughter, in my presence as that of Katanga Henry. Now, you testified under oath in examination in chief to the same thing. Is that true or false? My Lord, what I recall is the, the body of the, the disease was identified to the team, not one single person. Doctor, I want you to read your report. <coughs> it says, body brought into city mortuary by UAY670P, identified by Mkwanzi Martha Katanga, brackets, daughter, in my presence as that of Katanga Henry. You also testified that these notes are yours. Now, are you telling us that this part of your report is false. It's a team. A team comprises of two and more. If you see here, there's Dr. Malen Kumba. So, Doctor, let's, let's slow down. Let's slow down. So, it's not one single person. Let's slow down, Doctor. Is the, you told us that your role in this postmortem was to write and that everything written here is written by you. Did you say that? And that is not right. So this that, was a just hold on, just hold on. Let's, let's get that on record. It is not correct that everything written here is written by you. It's something discussed, agreed, and I held the pen and wrote it. A joint. So, when you say in my presence, can you confirm that you do not know if Mkwanzi Martha Katanga actually identified the body? It's a team, and I was part of the team. I'm asking you about your knowledge. Is it a matter? As I was informed. You were informed, so you don't know. Oh, what were you informed of? That one matter, Kwanzi Katanga, was the daughter of... No, no, no. That Martha Mkwanzi Katanga identified the body in your presence. As I was informed, that was my earlier statement, my lord. So, doctor, I, I want you to go back to this report of yours. It is, when you say in my presence here, it is not referring to you. The presence here is the presence of a Were you talking to the person? Or you invite the body? Are you looking at that?